Hey there, Aubrey. What's going on today? How you doing? Oh, today is a wonderful day. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to hear your answer to this question. <laughs> Lindsay, have you ever really bitten someone's head off? Oh, man. I don't know if I'm not sure if this would qualify as biting someone's head off because I feel like when you bite someone's head off, it's out of the blue. It's unexpected. It's like more mm. than you would think. It's kind of coming more from you. But I was in an, um, a verbal altercation, I guess you could say, just an argument with someone. Um, there's very few people that I don't like, but this particular person I do not like. And okay. I came head to head with her verbally uh, about a month ago when I was out in California. And mm. I, I would say I was assertive. I stood my ground and I asked her to leave. Um, it, it wasn't exactly biting someone's head off, but it oh, was I definitely love that you're making my ground. Yes. The distinction here yes. because I I very much agree. You held your ground. You yes. were assertive. Yes. There was an altercation. Yeah. But I agree. I wouldn't call that biting <laughs> yeah. someone's head off yeah. because this is so much more extreme. Like you have to really yell at someone, snap at someone. Yes. There needs to be really ele elevated emotions right. to where later you might say, I should have handled that more calmly maybe. Whereas it sounds like your interaction with this woman, it sounds like you stayed pretty calm yeah. and were yeah, Us reasonable. Right. Usually, it's more like she bit our heads off. Like she was, uh, she was I, kind I, of attacking my off. brother actually. Mm, and yeah. then I started talking to her. I was just like, "If you're not happy with this, leave. You know, just leave." And yeah. so, so the yeah. difference is with biting someone's head off. It's always one person that's out of sync, and that one person's exactly. acting out. The other person is usually just <gasps> taking it in, being the victim, or not really responding, or something right? Absolutely. We are going to share more about this idiom because I think there's so much here that's really interesting. We use it to exaggerate. Mm -hmm. Even if someone like wasn't that bad, you might be like, she really bit my head off, right? Because yeah. you're sharing the story and exaggerating. Right. So we're going to dive into it and a few related idioms in English. I love these. I use them when I'm telling a story. I think it adds a lot of interest. It makes it more fun and interesting. Yeah. And you know, this happens to all of us. At some point, someone bites your head off <laughs> or, or you bite you someone bite else's head off. Yes. Well, we're going to encounter this kind of moment. It's such a violent can... issue, right? Yeah. It's just, <laughs> right. We'll get into it, but yes, of course, it's not literal. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> right. All right. Where do we start today then, Aubrey? Yeah. So we first want to share that this is part two of a series. And part one was Saturday, June 15th. It was called Four Idioms to Use When You See Red. Yes. And these were idioms about just when you get extremely anger, angry. You angry, might be yeah. able to hold it in. You might not react. Um, today's idioms are related, but they're more about when you don't hold it in. You Ooh. get super angry and you lash out or someone lashes out at you. Mm -hmm. We're going to share these idioms, but make sure to scroll up so you don't miss part one. So we're really turning up the heat with these summer Saturday episodes, right, Aubrey? Right. All about... <laughs> Uh, anger and showing how to, you know, but they do say, actually, I have ha heard statistics that um, violence increases in the summer. I have heard oh, that because of hot weather or hot, um, maybe it's what I heard was more hot, hotter climates that can happen um, oh, because I, I do think there's something about heat, like physical weather heat, heat in the air that can mm -hmm. make it easier to kind of lose it in a sense. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I'm so curious about that. And it could just be discomfort. Yeah. If someone is uncomfortably Irritable. hot, they're already going to be a little bit maybe annoyed or frustrated oh, and yeah. that might come out. In yeah. what they say. I mean, do you see that in yourself? I do. I see that in myself. Yeah, you know, I'm more likely to, oh, absolutely. to just sort of uh, be less patient in a hot summer yeah. evening than I am in like a cool winter. It's just, there's a yes. difference. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So yes, we, we do this, right? We might be yelling or criticizing someone heatedly. Yes. I love this adverb, heatedly. It means mm -hmm. like when we say something's with heat and we're talking about emotion, it just means elevated, with right? Mm -hmm. And especially heatedly, we're talking about with anger. You wouldn't say something nicely heatedly. Yes, for sure. For sure. So that was a bonus phrase for today, right, Aubrey? Yeah, a little bonus absolutely. for our listener, guys. Write that one down. And by the way, if you're consuming this episode in the app, check it out. Make sure you're listening in the app. Most of our episodes are transcribed right inside the app. So you'll be able to tap on words and save them to your personal power list. Yes. Yes. Um, then you don't have to write it down. You can just click it. You get an example sentence, a definition. So easy. Yes. Good stuff. Let's start with number one, Aubrey. What is it? 
Yeah, so this is a phrasal verb. I used it a moment ago, lash out, because it's just so perfect. Yeah. Like you might say, her client lashed out at her when she didn't file the paperwork on time. It means you are angrily, you know, either yelling at someone or snapping at someone. We say that, but it's definitely lash out. It's like you said, Lindsay, it's sort of out of nowhere. It's out of this, nowhere. Maybe it built up <laughs> yeah. but to the person that's being lashed out at. It feels like very extreme and sort of out Un of nowhere. Unexpected. They don't, maybe they don't know it's been building up. I mean, this is why we have to talk about our feelings, you know, and we experience them because so we're not bottling them up. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when we lash out. I feel this in myself. I let a lot of things go and I'm just like, it's not worth it, but I'm building up emotion, maybe resentment. And then I lash out at someone. Someone's <laughs> going to bear the brunt of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're all, we're all guilty of that in some way, right? Uh, lash totally. out. So the next example, I've seen a few celebrities lash out at paparazzi. Ooh. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. We hear those stories. Someone grabs the camera and smashes it, right? This is coming right. from this anger, right? It's a, an, an action they do heatedly. They're upset. Yeah. Maybe if they weren't angry, they wouldn't do that. They would um, speak more kindly, calmly. Sure. But you get angry, you get emotional, and then you lash out. Yeah, it makes me think a little bit of because we've been watching The Crown, and you know, there's a narrative in maybe it's true. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not on the inside of the royal family, of course. But you right. know, with Princess Diana and everything that happened with the paparazzi chasing her, mm. and then for the boys and the family just being so angry at paparazzi over so many years. Yeah. Absolutely. I would imagine. Yes. I can't imagine what that's like. I can't imagine. No, I can't yeah. either. This is why I've, I'm very open about that. I wouldn't want to be famous. I think I would lash out at paparazzi if they were following me around or my children. If I felt my children mm, were threatened, mm, I could mm, see myself mm. lashing out. So it's better that no one knows me. <laughs> Mama bear would come out as we say, right? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> we, we don't need that. Okay. <laughs> if you guys heard the first episode of this series, you heard a crazy story about me lashing out at a mom at soccer. Oh yeah. It's a good story. <laughs> Go check out oh. that first episode so you don't miss it. What's the status of your relationship? with her now are you guys okay or no I had I hadn't met her then and I still haven't met her okay. now I just yelled at her across oh, the no. soccer field. <laughs> maybe okay. worse maybe Lashed better out. I don't know okay interesting <laughs> and this uh. one's good number two tear into someone I like it yeah. Yes. Very similar meaning to lash out. We use it a ton. You might say that coach was really tearing into his team. Right. And we've all seen this on the sidelines and the coach is just yelling really heatedly, angrily. Then we would say this, wow, he's really tear tearing into them. Yeah. The coach is like bright red and looks like his head yes. is about to explode. <laughs> Tears off his tie and throws it. I feel like basketball coaches in the U.S. are notorious for this. The most famous example would be Bobby Knight, right, from Indianapolis uh, back from the 90s. Yes. I don't know anything about basketball, but I know Bobby Knight was famous for, I think, like throwing things and at his team Absolutely. and just really, really lost it so many times. ASU's coach, basketball coach, does it now. I couldn't tell you his name, but I find myself hardly watching the game. I'm just watching him because he's getting <laughs> so heated and upset. He'll take off his tie and throw it. He's still Stomping around. It's so entertaining. I had a, let's see, I was in the band in middle school and I had a, a what do you call it? Like a, um, he was the conductor of the band the or the kind yeah. of our teacher, our band teacher. He would just lose it sometimes. He would get so <laughs> upset, especially at the drums. All oh, the boy. all the drummers up there would mess up the and he would start throwing things at us. And he oh, was no. crazy. Yeah, it was wild. It's like, oh, should you be a teacher? You have to have such right. patience as a teacher. Yeah. When a teacher lashes out and loses their temper, I'm always kind of like, oh no, you yeah. maybe chose the wrong profession. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you really need to have incredible patience. Yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. Okay. So then she, another example, she really tore into me when I thought when she thought I hit her car. Yes. And I have seen this. Oh, yeah. I have seen like someone, you know, you think there's an act and then they like tear in like, what are you? Da, 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 da. Whether you did hit the car or not road yeah. rage, right? We see this a lot. Someone will tear into someone else. Oh, for sure. And then they have their camera filming. Oh my God. Just like people yes, lose it absolutely. so easily. It's crazy. All right. Number three, bite someone's head off. This is what we just talked this about. Is. Yes. We talked about this one at the top of the episode, mm -hmm. right? And this is very extreme. Like you said, we might use it to exaggerate, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to bite my head off <laughs> when someone really was just like, no, I don't want to do that. Like yeah. maybe they weren't that extreme. This one, I don't know about you, Lindsay. I use this a lot to exaggerate exaggerate mm. what how someone else what they were saying to sure. let them know I still feel like they're either unreasonable or a little little too heated maybe oh okay so just kind of pushing them back a little letting them know they're a little out of line 
right? Yeah. Is the function. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're maybe they weren't really biting my head off, right. but whatever was happening, it was enough elevated, escalated, heated. Yeah. That yeah. I'm like, okay, let's step back. Yeah, let's yeah, take yeah. a chill pill. <laughs> Sometimes you have to send people signals, right? You have to totally. send signals and maybe you need to exaggerate for them to get that message because people yep. just see the stars when they're angry. <laughs> exactly. They see red like we yeah. taught in that previous yeah, episode. Red. Absolutely. And you yeah. might need to kind of calm them down a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and escalate the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he bit my head off when I was late to the meeting. So this would be even worse in a business context, right? Mm-hmm. And this good. happens, right? And when you're telling the story to someone at work, this might be how you said it. Like, wow, he really bit my head off when I was late. Yes. And maybe it was just like a firm rebuke. Right. But it, this is how it felt. And when yeah. you tell the story, this is how you're going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So it can happen at the workplace and it can happen in our yes. social lives and our community things like that. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay. Oh, this next one feels a little bit more sinister, right? What is this? <laughs> yes. It's rake someone over the coals. Wow. I grew up saying this. What about uh, you, Lindsay? Have you heard this? She really yeah. raked me over the coals. I, I guess, I guess this kind of thing didn't happen to me that much. So <laughs> I don't know. I didn't say it that much, but I know it. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, right. Yes. We we do say it. I would say the other three we've taught are a little more common. I think yeah. because like you said, Lindsay, this feels more extreme. Extreme. I don't yeah. know that I would say this to, you know, I wouldn't say to someone, okay, don't rake me over the coals. No. no. <laughs> right. I would say don't bite my head off. So what would be an example and, of, of, you know, where that would make sense? What would someone yeah. do? You might someone? say it if you're telling a story uh-huh. and saying that someone yelled at you or was okay. something extreme, right? And this yeah. is usually more about a personal critique or criticism. Okay. It wouldn't be so much about like, they hit my car. She really raked me over the coals. It's right. more like she told me all of the things wrong with me and all the things she thinks I'm not doing. That's what we mean when we say we're being raked over the coals. Yeah. It also could have an element of public embarrassment, right? Maybe she did that in yes. front of all your closest friends and family too, right? Yes. Uh, certainly possible. It could it could be just one person though. Yeah. If someone I'm alone with someone and they're telling me all the things, maybe all the ways I'm a bad parent, I'd be like, wow, mm. she really raked me over the coals. So it involves a lot lot of stuff they're throwing at you, right? Yeah, I think so. It has to sort of be like multiple critiques, Yeah, whether they you feel like they're earned or not. Yes, (laughs) yes. Or here's another sample sentence. I didn't mean to rake her over the coals, but I was pretty upset. Yeah. Yeah. So you might say this about yourself if you had this altercation Mm. and you like imagine, Lindsay, that experience you had with this yeah. Woman. Yeah. If you then went off to say, you have done this and this, and you are this and this, and there's sort of, you know, multiple personal attacks or personal critiques yeah. that are yeah. heated, then she could go home and be like, wow, that Lindsay lady really raked me over the coal. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that. I did but. not do that. No, no. It was enough just to ask her to leave. <laughs> Please go exactly. home. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. the better choice. You took yeah. the high road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Um, all right, cool. Aubrey, let's go into a role play, shall we? Let's do it. Yes. So right. in this role play, I'm telling you about my daughter's teacher. Ready? Perfect. Yes. My daughter is really struggling with her teacher. I guess he lashes out at the students really often. Oh, no. You have to have so much patience as a high school teacher. For sure. I guess whenever someone is late to class, he really tears into them. I feel bad for those students. I had a teacher in high school that bit my head off once, and it was awful. She said yesterday he really raked her over the coals in front of the whole class. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard for kids too. It's so terrible. I have had, my children have had teachers like this, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Maybe not this extreme. Like if he raked her over the coals in front of the class, he would be like, you know, telling her you're always late and your assignments are terrible. And that's just worst case scenario because it's very extreme. Yeah, no, that's really bad. It's especially hard for kids when they're just, you know, maybe the teacher says it in front of friends and they're, they're They're just trying to hide and blend in. They do not want that public criticism or ostracism, which is like when they then are getting sort of left out or excluded. Right. Worst case scenario for a teenager. (laughs) For sure. And so first we used lashes out. So you said my daughter's really struggling with her teacher, I guess he lashes out at the students really often. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, which does happen, right? That's just like angrily yelling, criticizing. Mm-hmm. It's pretty extreme. It's not like, you know, he reprimands the ch- this is that's very different. That sounds yeah. very calm and collected. Yeah. He's letting them know these behaviors need to change. Lashing out is not calm and collected. Right. This means he has lost his temper and is yelling. Yes, 100%. And then what'd you say, Aubrey? 
Yes. And then I said, yeah, if someone's late, he really tears into them. Yes. And this is like, if someone's late and he comes in and he's like, why are you always late? What is happening? This is going to be a conversation with the administrator. Like this would be that, right? Ugh. He's tearing into them. He's yelling at them yeah. about something. This is not a calm interaction. <laughs> and then I said, oh, I feel bad for these students. I had a teacher in high school that bit my head off once and it was awful. We can all relate. Like I, sh I shared the story yes. about my band teacher, you know, and yeah. usually it's about the teacher, about them not having control of their emotions. Exactly. Right. Because teenagers, yeah, they're going to try to get your goat. I yeah. mean, I say that they're going to try and upset you. They're going to try and create this interaction. They're teasing. Mm -hmm. So if the teacher doesn't have patience, this is going to happen. They're teasing, they're testing, right? There's a lot yeah. of testing that kids do for sure. They're trying to get the other students to laugh. Oh, like, it's yeah. just inevitable. <laughs> and then you said, she said yesterday, he really raked her over the coals in front of the whole class, right? Nice. Yep. Worst yeah. case scenario. That's a very extreme. I love all of these. I, It is really a fun connection moment as yeah. a takeaway here to use these to exaggerate. Yeah. Like maybe it wasn't that extreme. It can get you in trouble, right? Someone yeah. might be like, okay, now wait, what did they actually say? Because yes. you're making it feel really extreme. Maybe you might have to admit like, okay, it wasn't that bad, but it really, I really hated it or whatever. Oh my God. Yeah. I love this. This is so cool, Aubrey. What's the takeaway today? I mean, I like that in the last few you know, weekends, we've been really going through it's not all always perfect connection there are moments of conflict in life that's normal and how can yes. we go and talk about it later how can we take solace in our friends and share experiences these are the words to do it right i agree i love this right we we all try to keep our cool but everyone has their moments like you said and discussing when this happens admitting faults is a great way to deepen connections in english love it glad we talked about this today aubrey guys go back and get that other episode from last weekend to complete this series this will be the final episode in this series aubrey yes, there, no, absolutely yes. and really we when we talked about keeping your cool recently mm -hmm. that's very related as well. So yes, be sure you're following here, guys, for all of these great episodes. Yes, close the loop on the series and make sure you hit follow on All Ears English. Good stuff, Aubrey. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Awesome. Thanks. You all too. Right. Take Bye. Care. Bye.